sorry. I I'm late. I would have told you that I'm stuck in traffic, but um, well, the meeting is in my room, so that would be a lie. And you'd know that since you are in my room at the moment. Anyway, I uh, you are my fire, the one. Desire, please. Excuse me, it's. Uh... Oh, I I sang your line. Well, this isn't a musical, right? I was I was gonna say you are Mosh Barbara's mind's uh, mosquito net. Make sure you're not my brothers, my mom, or uh, my neighbors. Net mosquito net. Oh right, right. right. Well, uh, I thought you were a little bit brighter than this, but yes, I am your net. Isn't it obvious? We've been together for so many years, so... Those many years, you have tortured me and our forbidden through pain and suffering. It's been long enough. This is why you are the first on my list. There's a list? Let me see that. You are not allowed to see the list, okay? Just sit. Okay. My problem is your qualifications are questionable. You have one job, and that's to make sure that no mosquito attacks me when I am in my bed at all times, whether I'm asleep, awake, eating, drinking, whatever. As long as I am on my bed, you are supposed to protect me from whatever insects that are out there. I am a mosquito net. I don't care if it's not a mosquito. I protect you from mosquitoes only. A mosquito is an insect, so it should be universal. Case closed. Yeah. Can I just say something? I was here when you started the whole YouTube channel thing, okay? I started this with you. Yes, and I do agree, although you looked ugly in all 16 videos that you have been there. Don't you think so? I mean, should I pull out the uh, videos right now? No, don't. Please. So you agree. Thank you. And since you're doing a terrible job, this is your eviction notice. Take it. Okay, uh, first up, you are in charge of whatever I look like. If you don't wash me, I get dirty. If you don't put me up well, I will be ugly. I can just do this thing by myself. You know this, right? You just ask me that? And sis, you live in a third world country. If you were in a first world country, none of us would be here right now. You wouldn't be worried about mosquitoes and whatever insects. I wouldn't be worried about protecting you. I'd probably be on a vacation somewhere in the Bahamas or Madagascar. You know, just a nice country somewhere that isn't here. But look, you're in a third world country. You need me, bitch. Oh, you did not just go there what i'm saying is you are poor okay and you need to stop blaming me for your financial status that is poverty okay even if you were rich in this third world country you would have bought the insecticides that are there but oh no, no, i i don't know I don't know much. I'm just saying that they work faster than I ever will. You know, they kill. They actually kill this insect that you're afraid of. But yeah, I guess if you could afford, yeah, you'd you'd have them. And I am going to take my eviction paper right now and leave. Once you take me down, I will be out of your sight. Okay, just put me in the trash. I will find my way after this. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I don't know where this attitude came from. But... Well, that's one thing I picked up from hanging out with you too much. Yeah. Well, to end this interview, I was going to say that you 
you are doing mm-hmm. a good job currently. Mm-hmm. I was going to get rid of you. Right. But I I'm just I'm going to blame it on the bed. All right? I'm oh, I'm, really? I'm going to throw all the okay. blame on the bed. The bunk bed that was here. Yeah, you two weren't getting along so well and I think that the new bed is friendlier and more understanding and accommodative. So I would like the uh, eviction paper back, please. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I am glad that we reached a consensus, and I will be seeing you every single night and day and whenever you come back to the room. Nice.